amazing. There once was a tiny boy with an old soul whose name was Creed. It meant to believe. Infectious personality. Um, had a scruffy little dark voice. Yeah, well, I have <laughs> Creed had a fierce spirit, but a body that battled illness from the day he was born. Myelodysplasia and monosomy 7. His parents speak a language they never wanted to learn, a language of pre-leukemia and chromosomal issues and bone marrow transplants, a language that forced Creed to spend half his life in the hospital. There's just nothing normal medically about that kid, mm -mm. nothing. It would seem a bleak existence, the opposite of what childhood should be. He loves coming to work. He loves people. Good morning. Good morning. Go ahead, babe. Uh, the hospital embraces him. But Casper, a service dog, changed that. Good morning, Casper. You holding on to his legs, petting his paws. Casper. Creed calls him Caspi. Come on, Cas. Come on, sweetie. Did you want to see Casper? Casper was the new therapy dog at Children's Healthcare of Atlanta at Scottish Rite. Creed was one of Casper's first kids. The bond was instant, different. Lisa would drop Casper's leash, he'd pick it up with his mouth and trot down the hall toward our room. He just knew. He would get on the bed, you could just see him look at Creed a different way. He loves your strawberry shortcake. Casper's owner and handler, Lisa, says the relationship between these two went way beyond the demands of the job. He was going to be Casper's best friend and vice versa, and there was just no two ways about it. There were movies and sleepovers and countless hours spent in Creed's bed. After a lifetime of illness, a little boy had a best friend. I don't know that Creed even looked at Casper as a dog. One day, Creed was near death. We were almost to the point to where he wouldn't, he had, he wasn't showing brain activity. He coded. He coded twice. Casper came. I told Creed that Caspi was with him. Casper softly jumped into the bed and I put his paw in Creed's hand. Creed's arm started to move. Creed opened his eyes and clenched Casper's paw. A nurse who was in the room with us said, that dog just brought that boy back to life. It was a miracle. There was an awful lot of things that went towards bringing that child back. Um, doctors, nurses, love, God, and Casper. Creed's health was restored, but then the sickness returned. They were, you know, hitting on his chest and trying to, you know, get him to respond, and I was like, Creed, Creed. And John and Stephanie knew their little boy was done fighting. That's it. He's done. He's tired. He's done. I felt relieved for him. I, you know, I, I looked at him and I was like, oh my God, he doesn't have to do this anymore. Surrounded by his family, Casper came a final time to see Creed. We went immediately to Creed's bedside, but Casper did not jump in bed. He knows he's not there. Puts his head down and just, and just looks at the floor. And he did not leave until Lisa grabbed his leash and they walked back out. And he knew that, he was he losing knew. his buddy. Not long after Creed died, a new litter of service puppies was born at Canine Assistance. They named one for Creed. Stephanie went to meet her son's namesake. I picked that dog up and that dog nestled in my, I mean, it was like the most warming. I, I, I was like, this is my child. Like, I, like it was something that tangible that I could hold again. That brought me to my, to my baby. You know, that was like, this, this is Creed. Like, Everything he's lived through, all of his heartache, all of his hardship, I get to hold it right here with this little warm, fuzzy pup. It's an idealized image of childhood, a boy and his dog. But the love between this boy and this dog was beyond everyone's comprehension. Creed's parents believe the comfort and love Casper gave to Creed came from God until the very end. Creed's name will live on in another creature who will one day comfort and care for someone else. And that would make the tiny boy with the old soul very happy. Hey everybody, it's Creed. Thanks for all the players. Love ya.
Bye. That little boy was something else. Jay Watson. They just had a certain bond. 11 Alive News. A certain love for each other.